Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you what we've been thrifting, what we've got at the Goodwill bins, um, and we tell you what we paid for it and what we're going to sell it for and what, if anything, we are going to do to upcycle it. Um, today we have a huge like mix of stuff. Lots it's, of things. We went to a ton of thrift stores. We hit up the Goodwill bins. We got some amazing quilts. Um, if you guys want to shop along, make sure you go to jamierayvintage.com. You can click Saturday Thrift Hall. Everything is listed there. And Caitlin is on, as always, dropping links and answering questions. All right. I'm going to show some stuff up here. And then we'll show like the most exciting thing of the week that actually came from the bins. Might have to go back and check again next week because they've been so popular. We got tons of comments and questions about these things. So stay tuned. That's coming up. I'll show them in just a minute. But first off, we're going to blow through some little stuff that's in front of me here. So this, I don't remember. This, this, was, from, this was from the so bins. So anything from the bins, we're just going to say it was from the bins. We don't know price because it's per pound. We paid $60 yeah. total, and that included a bunch of clothes and stuff that my kids have. So I really don't I'm gonna know. I'm going to guess that this was like a buck ninety-five. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> so It's just cute, like a little like planter. Box. Yeah, like vintage box planter. It's got old kind of rusty nails in it. It's got multiple sizes of nails. That's yeah. always indicative because they just use whatever was handy. And they're not even like evenly spaced. It does have mitered corners. It's $9.95. We probably paid around a dollar for it because it's from the bins and they go by weight. This is from the Deseret Industries, the DI. The DI. And it's it's a really great primitive style uh, um, tote, and I it's divided. I love the knobs on the end. Yeah, it's got knobs on the end. This handle, it's turned, but I feel like it's from like a tree limb because it's not, it's not quite straight. straight. Yeah. Um, it was three bucks. It's going to be fifty nine ninety five. We're not touching it. It's got a great primitive look, great color on the wood. We're going to leave it alone. Leave it alone. All right. Next up, we got a gobble gobble. Zeb Ooh. found this. It does have a broken, like, nose goozle situation. We're just going to kind of sand it smooth and then repaint this. It's okay, but I feel like it'd look better if it looked more like stone, like cement. Yep. Um, and after we repaint it, it'll be $29.95. How much did you pay for that? So I paid, I believe it was three bucks for this. Okay. And it's, it's like hatching a pumpkin out the back. <laughs> <laughs> It's like standing on pumpkins. There's there's, there's pumpkin. like two pumpkins up here, a pumpkin That's back a here. Turkey giving birth to a pumpkin, maybe a squash. I this isn't the right kind of turkey that even sits on eggs or anything else. But you know, I really liked it. I'm like, you know, we're bass is it a Thanksgiving. Boy yeah, this is a tom. Tom. Yep. Toms you got toms do and not hens. Give birth. But we're past Thanksgiving, but it was good enough. I'm willing to paint it. And if it doesn't sell, we'll throw it up in the uh, upstairs in the storage until next fall. And I'm sure this will go. So Robin said that she bought the blue and white ticking apron. You want to show that next? Yeah, I so can show that. That's kind of fun because we, if you guys have ever watched me paint, I wear a red and white ticking apron and we sell them in the shop for like, I think 19 or $20. This is this, like a gray. This is like a blue gray. Um, and I picked it up. We, we picked it up for $5 plus tax at oh. this, um, we call it the dented can store. Just like they get a lot of packages that are like fall out of the back of trucks or uh, returned or whatever. And so it was actually less than I pay for a wholesale. So we sold it for $12.95. Looks like Robin picked it up. So she got a great deal. I love this particular brand. Um, because they wash really well. It's a good, like heavy, almost like a duck canvas. cloth canvas yeah. mix. So she said that that's okay. That's a blue gray. It looks blue to me, but maybe it's like what those things on social media are like, does this dress look blue to you? And you look at it and you're like, no, that looks gold. <laughs> All right, we do have some Ray Dunn. Um, these we yes. got from the Calvary thrift store. One from Goodwill, two from the Calvary thrift store. Where's okay? We so, had so many different thrift stores this week. We went a lot I, of places we don't normally go. I think we paid two or three dollars for them. This one, some were three from Goodwill. This one says prints on it. I actually went back. Um, was it Tina Wynn? So hopefully, if Tina wants us, she can grab snag this one up. She said her husband's like birth name was Prince. Well, that's what it means. Oh, it means Prince. It translates to Prince. Okay. I don't know what the actual name was. Okay. So anyway, so we picked. I went back specifically looking for this one, and then I also found we have a vacay and vacay. a travel. And then at the Calvary thrift store, I also found this is actually that pretty one. cool. I've not we've not had one of these. Um, it does have like a rubber seal around it 
and it just says work on there, but it's like a it's like a travel mug. It's almost like a tumbler is what yeah, it looks like. Yeah, it's a like travel tumbler mug. Um, but this one's thirteen ninety five. So Leslie's on here. Leslie, so I specifically filmed like the end of the painted thrift haul from Friday. And I was like, Zeb, you forgot to put that in the video because he's been editing because my software on my phone's not working. He's like, it's no big deal. Nobody's oh. going to notice. Nobody's going to know. Speaking of which, and I Leslie never made like, my video public. Oh, you didn't? Uh-uh. It's that. ready to go. Again. It wasn't ready when we were That's pricing. for the Jamie and Zeb channel. But anyways, yep. I did film it. Zeb just didn't put it in there. So there you go. Because Leslie, Sorry. those are her totes. But Sorry, she'll see Leslie. them soon because things are shipping. They quick. turned out really good. They're, yeah, cool. they're, they're so some cute. of the cooler totes we've done. I actually love them both. Okay, I have this to show and a couple candlesticks, and then I think I'll show you what I was talking about. All right, so we figured it out. I didn't know what this was, and a lot of people commented. It's a door stopper. It's cast iron. Uh, it's going to be nineteen ninety five. It's got a handle, so you don't wanna, like break your back to get the door stopper out. You I'm just like, quickly grab brilliant. it, move it, and then shut the door. It's it's fast and easy. We'll and just use a heavy pillow. And I think it looks door. good too, like if you want to prop a door open. Yeah. It does have a slight little like crack here, but I don't think that affects its door stoppiness. It's <laughs> it's door stoppiness. That's what it's got. Okay, next up, let's do this. Is like it looks like ironstone, but it's not. It's not heavy. Really pretty picture. I love the scalloped edges and kind of the, how many sides does this have? It's like octagonal? How many um, that? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to bring it close. I don't know why I don't know what an octagon, like that's eight sides, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and then we paid $4 for that and we're selling it for $19.95. This is from the Calvary Thrift Store. Hello, Laura says, I told my husband we have to pause the Christmas movie because Jane Marie Vintage is. <laughs> <laughs> How's he feeling about that? Is he all right? Was he enjoying the Christmas movie or is he ready for the, the jokes tonight? Yeah. I'm not sure that we have any jokes, but you just never know. Well, it's right. been it's been a busy week. I feel like we didn't get a ton done, but it's been good. It's been good. We week. did. We went, we have had a video every day this week, right? Yeah. So we did a video. What Except did we do on Sunday. Tuesday? Did we do a painting? Tuesday video? we painted. Yeah. So we we had the six videos, almost like. We're or did doing... we go live? I can't remember. I, we might have gone live. I don't even remember. Like. Uh, or maybe at the we shop. didn't do a video on Tuesday. I can't remember. But there's a lot of videos, so we've been productive. All right. These candlesticks are a mix between resin. They kind of look like they have a cast iron base, um, and that is resin. The top is resin, and then this, the middle is pressed tin. This one has a little dent in it. They're going to get painted. Um, I might even take this apart because they unscrew and see if I can straighten that dent out just a hair. If not, we're well, going to paint them. It'll still be fine. So <laughs> um, the like set the together painted up. They were three bucks and three bucks. So six dollars for the pair and they're going to be thirty nine ninety five. They do um, need some repair and work. So somebody said, how is Buttercup? We actually sold Buttercup. She was not pregnant. Um, and we have a bunch of stuff going on. She's and so on me and I... we decided to sell her. So she's actually went to a new home. She has more pasture. She has a bunch of goat friends. Yep. Um, and so, yeah. So she's actually gone. with some Angus cows right now. Oh, she's going to be so happy. Well, there's a bull in there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's going to be happy. <laughs> so she's like, the, the gal that got her, she's like, I got a neighbor that's got a bunch of Angus cows. And she said I could just run her in there year. until she gets pregnant. Uh, and they're real close. So like they can, like, if she needs to, like, that's where Buttercup oh. will go. If she goes to go, I, was gonna like, say, I don't know like if, if she goes like out of that. town. She didn't take from a, a bull before she had to be inseminated, but she'll go into heat more often if she's around. Yeah. So bulls. it should be, it should be really good. She's going to live her best cow life where she's at. Um, all right. I think I got enough tall things. I'm going to show you this, these, we got, I would say 30 plus comments on these, maybe more, of people like wanting to pre-buy them. So Laura already bought this one Laura tonight. was like, waiting <laughs> in the wings. She's like, the thrift hall's going it's live. size is what I would think, because it's huge. I would say it's, it's probably a solid twin, but twin, no. twin, queen size is not much smaller. You know no. me, I like it to way it's overlap. Not, there queen. is, so this is like a tab for i don't know like wrapping it up or something it's, this is extra on here it's so it's not hand pieced you can see all the little hand sewing it is kind of campy on the back 
It's got like this flannel looking style. It's going to keep somebody really warm. But we sold this for $99.95. And it came from the bin. It's so... already gone. First thing to go tonight. And it has like a tag. Like it's hand sewn but by a company. It's Patch Magic Quality Quilts uh, to Warm Your Heart and Home since 1987. And they they hand sew them. Yeah. I'm just wondering if it's like a like a small business. I don't think it's Yeah, it's... Or, or it could be a club of like Maybe. people that get together. It's a bunch of different fabrics. They do quilts and I like it a lot. And it's funny because they like uh, when you go to the bins, there's all these like kids ages like 18 to probably early 20s digging through for the trendy secondhand clothing. And they cover the bins when they bring them out with these quilts. And they literally just chuck them to the side. I'm like, you, you, you do not know what you're chucking over to the side because that is worth more than the clothes you're finding. So I'm always, I'm happy that I don't have to like throw elbows to get them. They're not fighting over them. Sorry, Jack just got home. So Zeb is, is Slater here with him? All right, hang on. What are you I'll doing? I'll be right back. I got to figure something out for Jack. All right, we're figuring out Zach's life, Jack's life here. All right, let's go with some more quilts here. Sorry. We got kids. If you're new here, we got five kids for the live at home. All right, pretty quilts. This one is like got squares on it. Really good coloring. You know what, Zeb? Where's the price on this one? Oh, okay. $39.95. And I think this one was like four or five dollars. I love this afghan. And then we have another afghan that we picked up at the bins. It's like hot pink. And Eliza, my 14-year-old daughter, saw it and she's like, ooh, that's pretty. So here's this hot pink afghan. About Jack. the same size, about a lap blanket, like perfect for on the couch. And it's $29.95. Jack has like zero phone etiquette. We just called his friend because he's like, hey, can we go like play up in the room later? Because they just, we were at a Christmas party before. We had to come early and set up for the live stream. So Jack stayed there um, and they br they just brought him back. And he's like, hey. Can he come play over here if we're real quiet and we stay off the internet and we don't play any video games? And I'm like, sure, that'll work. He's like, okay, I got a call. And so we called, and this is Jack's conversation. Doesn't say hi or anything. They, they're like, hey, what's up? How's it going? And Jack's like, Slater can come over. My dad says it's fine, but we got to be quiet upstairs. And they're like, okay, we're coming back. We'll be there in five minutes. And Jack's like, okay, boonk. <laughs> It's a song I up. just think kids don't spend a lot of time on the phone anymore. <laughs> I don't spend a lot of time on the phone. Like anybody that knows me knows I am not a phone talker. Like anything. Did you, know, you show this one already? No. This one is also $99.95. I don't know if I, this one's sold yet. I just spent hours talking to Zeb on the phone. As a or wait, is this the one that Laura got? No, she got the other one. Okay. This one is still available. Well, that I know of. Are you okay, sure? Okay, so yes. Okay. So this one is red, white, and blue. What I love about this one is it's got some really great florals in it. Can you see it? It's very Americana, and it's got a great <laughs> overall pattern. Somebody spent, I mean, if this you, one... just to get this quilted, just the quilting arm would have been a couple hundred dollars. See the squares that are on the back? That's done by a machine, right? Yes. And then this is hand quilted here. No. Yeah. So the, this is hand quilted. This oh, is sewn. No. They sewed, they no, sewed this because they didn't have enough uh, no, material. No, this is all hand quilted. No, this is what I'm talking about right here. They had to piece the material together because oh, yeah, yeah. they didn't have a big enough but piece. But sometimes they quilt them on machines. Like they hand piece the top and then they quilt it on a machine. No, they did but it all by hand. this is hand quilted, the whole dang thing. Yep. You can see it on top and bottom. It goes yeah, all the way through. Yeah, and this is in pretty good condition. They're not in perfect condition. I remember seeing a few imperfections. But um, yeah, and that's, I would say that's probably about a queen size too, at least a full. Close. They will cover that's up pretty. large people like me. It's like, look, I'm I'm five. reaching up. I got about an eight foot reach, and it's barely touching the floor. Yeah, we will try. If it doesn't sell tonight, we'll try to get measurements on there for you guys. Even if it was a twin for ninety nine ninety five, that's a really good deal for a hand quilt. You can't quilt. even buy new quilts for that. And this is like a fabric hand stitched antique. That like patchwork quilt um did you show them these afghans hold on let me see if we have oh, but those are those are like people were going crazy over those so we're gonna go back probably next week and see if we can find more so, might have to wait there for a minute and like wait for them to roll stuff out because the blankets are on top of these carts <laughs> so bobby said okay so somebody said that it's going in and out but other people are 
it's okay. So it's probably internet on your end. So hop out and hop back. So in. sometimes what you can do is you can pause and let, just let it stream up and then play it again. So you'll be a little behind, but it'll still play good. Let's show these next. They do not want them painted. Oh, really? Caitlin sent me a message and also the embossed. Now I have to ask the embossed cookie biscuit tin. Um, somebody bought one before and did not want to paint it, and somebody bought it again and doesn't want to paint it. So I'm wondering if it's the same person. It's actually it's got like a, a really good turquoise, and the, the press. Tin it on is there. going to the same person. Oh, that is awesome! It's funny because I Skip bought it thinking ball. I wonder if they want two because they love the last one so much, and they wanted it not painted. And then oh, we fun. have these two corbels. These are like a plaster or I, I think they're plaster. They're very, you can hear it ringing. They're very hard if they are plaster. Um, this one, has, it does have like, it's been repaired, not by me, but it's very good. I tested it before I got it. You can see. So I wonder whoever's buying those, if they really want to leave them yellow or they just want to paint them themselves. They're I'm cool. going to guess they want to paint them themselves. They probably got like a whole theme going on. Probably. These are great. Like you can, th so this has a hanging hardware. You can mount a shelf and then just prop these up to it. They don't have to necessarily be structural and they look really good on your, on your like shelves and things. All right. Somebody was asking about these. So we'll go to these next. These were $3 and $5. There could have been three. Oh, there. My cart had a broken part that opened up and one of them broke. So I just got these two because one of them broke. Um, and so I spent $8 for the pair and I'm selling for $28.95. They're like, they have metal inserts and they look kind of like a milk glass. They're not super old, but they're really pretty. They're $28.95 for the pair. This was like a last grab DI tray i love that it's got like the beads around it and then it's got the turned feet and it's not not very big it was two dollars we're selling it for 16.95 i think we're gonna leave it just this color it needs a little cleaning but i think that's where we're at yeah no i'm gonna leave that as it look, almost looks like skeleton key yeah. so Gemma just picked up or Gemma just picked up the other quilt oh nice so zeb and i both said we're like if the quilt sell tonight then we will go back to the bins next week and see if we can get more because that def we didn't get as much stuff, but that would make it worth it if we could pick so, up a couple of quilts um, a week so just the, because they're hard to find. Yeah, the Goodwill bins is like you can find really amazing stuff or you can wait there for hours and find nothing. And the whole time you're going to be like, I need a Tyvek hazmat suit. <laughs> yeah, to, I ran those get through my here. washing machines. Now, one thing to know about the bins where we live is the people shopping there are typically not looking for what we're looking for. No, so they're the looking for is, clothes. Is, if there's good stuff that we would like, we don't have to throw elbows. Nobody's really looking for it. No. They're looking for other things. So that's kind of nice. It's just, it's not the same. Like I've seen other resellers, they go to the bins and there's like tons of home decor. Some of the home decor is even up on shelves. Like that is not, our bins are literally giant blue bins. They just roll them out and whatever's in there is in there. All right, soup terrain missing its uh, ladle. But These are pansies. I originally said they were violets. I love I'm the handles it because in... they're like kind of asymmetrical, just like a yes. lot of really pretty detail. It's in really great shape. It was three bucks down at the Deseret Industries. It, I mean, it's got a little age. It's got a couple little tiny little chips and things here, but it's almost like not noticeable. Um, good shape inside. 39.95 but you just you get sold. yourself like a little cheap porcelain ladle or something drop it in there and you're done i actually me personally i'm either going to display it with the lid on without the ladle anyways or i'm going to take the lid off and force bulbs in it that's why i think it's really pretty in them I, it's already sold so i don't know what they're um going to do with it but maybe maybe they're going to do what i would do like put some bulbs in it okay next up Got this really cool, it's like a French bread basket. That's what I'm calling it because it's about the size of a big fat loaf of French bread. I love the braiding on it. It's really pretty. It's got a few like age wear spots on it, but nothing super crazy. But I like it because it's not like super yellow. I yeah. don't love yellow, yellow baskets. I like this. It's kind of like more mid-toned wood. Um, and I think I paid a couple bucks for it. The tag. It was three. Three? Yeah. And it's $28.95 and it's got handles. So... Okay, we got a couple books. These are from the bins. This is the Mystery Hunters on Special Detail. 
I don't know if I've priced that. This one's not priced? Yeah, I don't. Okay, so that one might be next week. I didn't have a picture of that. <laughs> Um, this one is William Faulkner, the sound and the, and the fury. Um, this is actually just a great book. If you want to have a good read, uh, it is older. This is original copyright 1929. And then this one, this particular book is from 1956. I don't think there were any revisions. William Faulkner just renewed the copyright on it. Um, but it's got a deckled edge, great red color. It's going to be 995. And then this Webster Dictionary, also um, great color. This one is... 1951? I think it's from the 50s as well. 1951, I think, if I remember it's correctly. It's the New it's International a... Second Edition. Yes, 1951. Um, but just the age on this, and it's got like the gold title or cover and i looked it up i saw a lot more expensive than this i just kind of tried to make it like an average price these are both from the goodwill bins so i don't really know what we paid individually for that's them, another thing i look for when we go to the bins there's people books. digging for books and things but they're buying like how-to books and like they're like buying books that they can things. sell on amazon yeah we're we're, we're like buying antique books that's like i need like, like an old vintage. antique book that's going to look good on a coffee table by itself or like on a shelf or actually be a really good read uh, like historical history type book, you know? All right. So I am going to pull it up. So that way I don't forget. Um, we are actually running a sale now until, is it through Christmas? I need to get all the details correct. Okay. We are doing a gift card sale. So it's running now until December 25th at 1159 PM. If you buy a gift card on our website and spend $50, you get a $10 bonus texted to you. If you spend $100 on gift cards, you get $20 bonus texted to you. If you spend $150, then you get a $30 bonus. There's a couple of caveats. One is we really need you to put your um, cell phone number, so that way it'll automatically text you your bonus code. If you don't, then what you'll have to do is you'll have to email Caitlin your order number, and then she can email you the code. Before, she used to email all of them, but it just took a tremendous amount of time, and there was a bunch of delay, and so we found an app that will automatically text it to you. But if you don't have a cell phone, Caitlin can email it to you. And then um, also, you cannot use it on DIY paint products. So we're not allowed to mark down any DIY paint products. It's in our retail agreement. So the brushes or the paint from DIY, um, you can't use your gift cards on that. But other sealers. than that, you can use them on anything. And you can't double stack deals. So your bonus code, you can't like get a discount, use a bonus code, use like. Use your your points or whatever. But you can use on anything but DIY paint. So it's a pretty good deal. And if you have anybody that you're going to be shot, you know, it's going to be shopping for you. You can be like, hey, just get me a gift card. It's kind of getting late in the year. So we can't guarantee anything's going to ship by Christmas. So gift cards are a great way to get some Jamie Ray. I mean, we're shipping this stuff out, but we're at the mercy yeah. of the uh, carriers. I don't know how long USPS and UPS is going to take. Yeah, we're, we're getting the stuff out pretty quick. Like if you order, a lot of this stuff will be ready to go like probably by Tuesday, but that's cutting a pretty close scene as Christmas is on a Monday. Yeah, and we got to get everything shipped out. And it's just Kaziah next week because Maria's aunt died. Yeah. Kaziah and Ivy. So, all right. Yeah. Caitlin just said the bonus code. Yeah, you can't use it on DIY paint or any other sales. So. All right. Um, I'm going to show you guys this. This is a pewter plate that Jamie found. Questions. Um, this is Wilton, Columbia, Pennsylvania, and it was $5 at the Deseret Industries. Oh, sorry. The e-gift card you can use on anything because it's just a gift card. The yeah. bonus code. There you go. Yes. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you can, if you get a gift card, you can still use the gift that. card can be used on anything, but the bonus code, which is your discount, you can't use that on DIY paint or sell products. Yeah. Okay. So this is just a really fun pewter plate. Like it quite a bit. Just great, uh, you know, sailboat if you're on the coast or not, if you just love sailboats like I do. Um, but it's 1995. It comes really with a plate good. hanger. Yeah, I didn't put that in the listing, but I'm not taking it off. So you get it too. <laughs> All right. Next up, I actually really like this, like a French style. You've got these really pretty feet on a tray and it's mirrored. It was $1.50. We're selling it for $19.95. This would be really pretty with perfume bottles on it. Or if you had something that the light would like reflect in the mirror back at it or some candles, it's a really pretty tray. 
You want to show them the bunnies? Yeah, it's a little early for spring and Easter, but not really. It's right around the it's corner. It's never too early for bunnies. Give me all the bunnies all year round. All right. I don't know if this will focus up on there. Nope. I'm going to come around again. All right. And then you can show them the, the wooden bunnies that Eliza liked from tonight. Okay. So these are these these have like little bunny handles. And then they're they're nine ninety five each. They were a dollar fifty at the thrift store, um, and they're printed both sides. They're and so cute. They are different. I like the little bunny handles. But lots of fun, just fun little mugs. Those are I think nine ninety five each. Is yep. that right? And then the next up, this is nineteen ninety five for the set. And Eliza saw this. She's like, these are so cute. They're bunny cutouts. And they have kind of like carving detail and then they painted them very primitive looking. I paid 75 cents for the little one and a dollar fifty for the big one. And I'm selling the set for $19.95. And I think they're good for spring, but I also think that if you love bunnies, these would be cute to leave up year round. All right. Tell them about your cabbage plate. My cabbage plate. Tell them Does about that, your is that similar? That's kind of very Beatrix Potter inspired. Cabbage wear, lettuce wear. Very popular. This was $5. It's a chip and dip or like veggies and dip plate. And I like that it's all together. Like this doesn't come out, so you can't lose it. And it's $29.95. It's the Cabbage Collection, Home Essentials and Beyond. Just really good for spring. But I actually think with a color, you could use it for the holidays because it's green. Yeah, it could be wintery. But if you put like, how cute would this be like at a baby shower with a bunch of different like colored candies? I mean, there's a lot of fun things. Oh, you can do so with cute. It. And people that love cabbage wear, pick this stuff up. I always grab it when I see it. I love, was that a little sarcasm? Oh, so cute. No sarcasm. I'm going to put you in charge of decorating the very first baby shower we have to do for grandkids. That's going to, you're going <laughs> to... We're having it at a park. I'll get some balloons. <laughs> All right, little cedar box. Love it because it's like a half circle. Um, never seen one a half circle. The I hinges did. are brass and they're kind of like an art deco style. I say I did find them online like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, it was $2.99 at Goodwill. It's going to be $16.95. Not painting this one. No, it's got an art deco like... Yeah, Class, the, too, yeah. which is kind of fun, but I need, I do need you to get that pin all the way in. Yeah. That's what I was fussing with earlier. Yeah. All right. These baskets, they're too small to be trash cans. They're a little rusty. Honestly, I think they could be I a would, desk trash can. I would probably like hang them with like twine or hemp or something and put like hanging plants or something. You could even do it outside. Um, what maybe about even... you flipped them like this and you put light fixtures? Oh, like yeah, you could, these would be really cool as lamps. And if you wanted to diffuse the light some more, you could run ribbon through them, make them very like cottage shabby chic. There's a lot of different things you could use these for. But we're, we're selling them as is, they're they're already rusty and ready to go, and they are $9.95 each. We found these at the bins as well. <laughs> Kayla says that Zeb's face says he's not ready for that. I'm ready for grandchildren. I don't, I'm let's do it, but. You know, we have children of age that could produce grandchildren for us. So get get after it, kids. <laughs> but you don't want to decorate. No. All right. And on that note, Odelia says, hey, everyone. <laughs> she just logged in. You chimed in right what at the perfect time. What did you walk time. into, Odelia? All right. Show them, show them your leather bag, your satchel. All right. So this is a fossil leather tote slash purse slash bag. I think it could be used for uh, guys or girls pretty a easily. A laptop or like an iPad. It's got, a, it's got a canvas strap and then the leather is actually in really good shape. It's got a couple scratches. Um, it's like that good age. It could be like oiled up, but I actually like the age on it. Uh, if I... If I was concerned about that, I would just take the mink oil like I use on my boots. It waterproofs my boots, and you could shine this thing almost up like it's brand new. It's no, still in I really love great shape. Leather like that. And it's got – the thing I like about it is that it's got a pocket on the outside right here in the back. Then you flip it open. It's got a pocket on the front, and then it's got a zip pocket inside, a place for – there's two other, three other pockets, and uh, like a place for cards, and also like – three little things for uh, like pens or something. He said it's a man purse. 
Yeah, that's what it's looking it's like. It's a satchel. <laughs> that's what I think so too. I think but... it could be an anybody purse. But right. I've seen I've seen a a few women with similar bags, so I'm not gonna, oh, I'm yeah. not gonna I, count them out. No, I would totally use that. Okay, so we have a couple of winners. If you guys are new here, if you go on Facebook and share, Facebook keeps track of sharing, and then we go every week and we pick two people that have shared out and to tell them thank you, we send them happy mail. And it could be a myriad of things. I have an entire shelf. Sometimes we ship paint and wax and decoupage paper, a stencil, something I made. We just put it on the giveaway shelf and Maria and Kaziah ship it out. So our two winners are Linda Lopeman, L-O-P-E-M-A-N, and Suzette Crosby. So if that's you, just email info at jamierayvintage.com. Make sure you spell Jamie, J-A-M-I. Um, and give Caitlin your mailing address and we will get your happy mail mailed out to you. Caitlin also put it in the comments. So Nice. What milk paint colors are on sale? That's a good question, Vicky. Okay, so before we get to the next thing, it <laughs> is, um, Caitlin, is it red and white, right? So things like flower sack and Salem. I'll have Caitlin drop it in the comments because I'm not positive. I just know it's red and white. Um, she forgot the names. Yeah. Not, how much <laughs> is the leather? The satchel was, was 20, 29 dollars 95 29 dollars 28 something right in there. <laughs> Let me, let me look. Let I me look It's for not it. on there. Oh, it's not on there? I don't know what okay. happened to it. 20, oh, it's right here. Oh. 29.95. 29.95. All right. Okay. This is from the bins. Uh, it's Guardian Service. I thought when I was when I was finding it, I'm like, man, the lid is here. The, the, the pot is here. This is awesome. But the lid was not a Guardian lid and it did not fit it. It was like oversized. So I just picked this up. Still a great aluminum pot if you want it to cook with. It says seven ninety nine, but that's not. It was like a no. Too. This is this is like pre. It didn't sell at a regular Goodwill store, so it landed in the bins there. Oh, hold on. Um, so the milk paint that's on sale is flower sack and red wagon. It's thirty five percent off until the end of December, because we usually have one or two colors every month that the manufacturer puts on sale, and then we offer it at thirty five percent off. So if you've no got, code needed, if you've got the lid for this pot. It's only fourteen ninety five, and you can make a, a marriage, a thrift store marriage. Or I'm sure you could probably find these, um, just like the pieces and parts, because it's good. Like this is this is going to outlast me. People yeah. will still be cooking in this 20, 30, 40 years from now. Okay. Next up, I have these two platters. I do not know the name. They're not marked, but they are a little bit older. There's some crazing in it. Somebody said that her mom had this set when she got married. Um, and they're twenty one ninety five each. This is the platter that just has the um, floral edge, and then this one has floral in the middle. I paid two dollars each. I don't think there's a maker's mark on these. And they're sold individually. Right? Sold individually. Nope, no maker's mark. This platter already sold. So this one is hand painted. It's um, ceramic. Michelle. It's uh, from Germany. Something holds us. Whoa. <laughs> In Germany, I can't. Well, you pronounce that. It was a dollar. A dollar. One. Oh, we sold it for, was it thirty nine ninety five? I can't even read it's all the beautiful. letters. beautiful. I, I just made that up. I have no idea what it says. But it's absolutely beautiful. Hand painted, very detailed, ruffled edge, asymmetrical design, like really unique. <laughs> Caitlin says, I'm sure Jamie was totally right. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'm not good with a German accent, period. My German ancestry would be very disappointed in me. I need my brother to yeah. do that. And he's, second, that he one speaks, doesn't have all the letters on there. He speaks Dutch and in he's Germany. living in Germany right now. So I'm sure he's, I mean, the, the two languages are super close. So I'm sure he's picked it up and he can speak German pretty well. He has the cutest blonde hair, blue eyed kids. <laughs> They're living their best life in Germany. Seven of them. <laughs> Seven <Cool>. kids. <laughs> okay, let's show them this one. So this, the frame is okay, but really what makes this piece unique is the original watercolor inside. The frame is actually like, you know, any any frame you can get anywhere. I'm not even sure it's real wood underneath. It's like a printed wood finish on the frame, but I picked it up at the bins because this is an original watercolor by somebody. <laughs> and by somebody it must be very special if there's an somebody. na initials on there but i just loved it i'm like this is actual art original um by this person and i don't leave that at the thrift store if the price is right it, so, 
and it's at the bin, so we probably paid less than a buck for this. Nancy said she lived in Germany for nine years, so how's my German? <laughs> I'm going to say you failed. You failed German class. I'm bad at all of it. I'm horrible at French because I always want to say it with, I can speak Spanish. So everything with me has got a Hispanic Mexican accent because that's why I grew up speaking. So I read French. I actually can understand what it is, but I can't pronounce it. it also something funny. If you hear Jamie say something backwards, it's because she thought of it probably like backwards. Like, you know, how like sometimes like instead of green before... car, it's car, it's car green. In yeah. Spanish. Yeah. And so she like thinks like she's thinking in Spanish, but it came out English. And I'm like, what did you just say? <laughs> I just say that I talk like Yoda. There you go. <laughs> All right, what's this? This is an aluminum dish slash platter. It is polished. It is dished out pretty good and polished. It's got a couple little dings and scratches. It looks like it's been used, but still in great shape. Uh, it's from the bins. It's going to be sixteen ninety five. And it was nine ninety nine originally at Goodwill, but we picked it up at the bins. So it was like two bucks. Yeah, it's very shiny. Like surpasses most of the silver we pick up. Yeah, I thought sixteen ninety five was a good price for that. Okay, next up we have crystal. This one has a nice thick edge on it, big thick bottom with a starburst. I don't know the maker because I'm not an expert, but just the weight, it's heavy. Um, and it's $22.95 and I got it for $3. I'm always surprised when you go to a thrift store and there's stuff that's like way overpriced. And then you have this beautiful, heavy, gorgeous vase that somebody probably got as a wedding present that somebody paid $60, $80 for. I don't know. And they're like, well, nobody wants that. So I'll just put this here. I'm just like, that's so pretty. Like the prisms, the... It is a good one. It's a good one. Anyways, $22.95 and I paid $3. Happy holidays, Yumiko. She said happy holidays. Member for 25 months. 25 months. That's a good long She's while. She's been following us way longer than that, but she wanted the bird about 25 months ago. Um, so we've got, this is like a candlestick holder slash uh, pedestal. So you know what I think it's for? You ready? What? You put your cup here and then your snacks around the edge and it's a it's like a snack and beverage holder. Let's sing one hand. Someone's totally had a candle in there, though. I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> That's what you would use it for? That's what I would do. I'd put a cup of my beverage and then my chips around the edge. This is waxy in the middle. We're going to clean that out for you. We're going to paint it. And get this thing painted up. It'll be $22.95. But I, I just love that it's... Look, you can flip it over and it's it's good to go. It's ready. Why would you flip it over? Because that's like a fun little pedestal situation, I too. I think that's weighted weird. I like it this way. But I'm just saying, like, look. They make snack cups with the little rings around them. It's just a solid wood one. All right. This He's not liking my idea. No, I'm going to move on. It's $22.95 <laughs> once it's painted. Don't put snacks in it. It's for candles. Um, all right. So this is a really fun lantern. It's got, uh, it's got a horse-drawn carriage in front of, like, a barn scene. Uh, and that's what this is all around. Careful. If you and it does have its globe, and it's it doesn't have any oil or kerosene in it, but it does have its wick, and it's been burned quite a bit. So, you know, usually the wick is down, and like, so you might need to get a new wick for it. But it's really easy Don't to get do a wick. Too much, or else you're gonna have to rethread it. No, it's fine. You just but, drop well, it. Well, we in wouldn't there. ship it with kerosene in it, anyways. No, but this is like a functional, usable Plus lamp four. that looks really good. So. We keep these around actually for emergencies, like, you know, batteries only last so long if power goes out for extended period Zeb's of time. Zeb's a prepper. So, Not like crazy, but... It's how I was raised. I can't stop it. And you know what? We have had the power go out, so it is important. Anytime we get an ugly candle that we can't sell, Zeb keeps it. And we have a box of candles for emergencies. You know, if we get in a pinch, you guys come find me. I'll help you out. And we're going to be like lighting up the house with all these gaudy, ugly candles because I was like, I'm not selling that thing. So that's like, just put it in the, the emergency bin. We got a whole bin of them. Okay. This was a dollar. So cute. Eliza's like, we need to put this on our tree. And I actually think it would look really good, but we already have a star on ours. So 1995, I don't know if it's sold yet, but I know this was really popular when we thrifted it. People were really Oh, yes. It. And I well, just loved and all the rhinestones are actually there because usually they fall it out. It almost so. didn't make the thrift haul. Jamie was back and forth for a minute on whether she was just going to keep it. <laughs> all right, I'm a little sad that this book is not more popular than it's getting love on the internet. The internet is selling this thing for cheap. So, so are we, cause you know, we got to stay competitive. 
It's going to be eight ninety five. But it's art music founded at the bins. It is. Let me get the date on it for you. It's a great orangey vintage color. Yep. Is that crystal? Um, these are rhinestones. So the not. last copyright, on, the original copyright on this is from 1923. The last copyright is from 1949. And it's just got tons of great art in here. If you want, you know, it's a great homeschool book. Yep. Or if you just want some art. I mean, if you don't even, you're not even, I mean, every page, there's just tons of it. There's two on each page. Some are photographs, some, most are paintings though. And they're all black and white, no, no color. But for, you, you know, if you're a paper crafter, eight ninety five, that's a great book. I think you've like got confused here. This says 69 and this is not $69. No, that is not. I don't know what happened. Cute little brass um, tray <laughs> with riveted handles. It was a dollar. And I'm going to wait till Caitlin drops the price because I, it says 69 and that is not the price. I think I it's like, 9.95, but I can't remember. I like the cast brass handles on oh, it. Oh, it has riveted. sold. Yes, 9.95. Okay. 9.95. Zeb is reaching for the stars with that price on there. It got on the wrong piece, obviously. <laughs> we have these cute, these are actual copper, not like sprayed on copper. Sprayed on copper, actual copper. Sprayed on copper, actual copper. Um, they're tinned on the inside. Um, and they were a dollar each. So we have a fish, a pineapple. I think this one is like a squash. The thing that's cool and about they're nine ninety five each, and they're actual copper. The thing that's cool about this bunt pen is it doesn't have the hole in the center. It's got a little hanging, riveted, uh, like triangle ring, D ring. Yeah, I to prefer hang the it. rings. Um, and it was, was it a dollar or two dollars? It's got two price tags I on here. I think it was two dollars. And we're selling for nineteen ninety five. And it's it's the copper color on the inside and the outside. And it's like good. Sometimes the copper is like not good. It's like this pinky. Is this is not pinky. Yeah, it's not rose goldy. Rose goldy. All right, next up. Okay, I'm gonna bring, keep going. We need to rapid fire. We're we not got, gonna well, we finish. Have, we have uh, 19 minutes. Oh, okay. All right. We only have 42. Here, I'll show this up close because it's got a great design. It does have a crack. People weren't buying it at the Goodwill, and the gal at the register told us like, oh, some no, keep somebody that, that is back. a reseller who I can't remember her name, but she's we see each other all the time, and she mentioned that it had a crack, and I was like, well, it's still cute. So this side is in great condition. It's called a lemonade pitcher. This side here has a crack running up right there. But in in same spirit as like the soup terrine back there, these make amazing little planters. I mean, so cute with floral in it as well. Yep. So we will run. I actually do want to run some um, super glue down the crack so it doesn't like break It's hand-painted Nippon. Yeah, it's really cute. And I priced it because it has a crack at $19.95. I'm um, going to go get the glue now the or I'll forget. cow creamer. Uh, Robin loves the cow creamer. Do you want to show? Oh, it's right I'm here. I'm getting glue. This was $2 and we're selling it for $14.95 and it's just cute. I pick these up anytime I see them. They're my favorite. We actually, I don't know if we still have them, but for a long time we had brown ones in the shop. This is a German, Melita, M-E-L-I-T-T-A. It's a gravy boat. I don't know if you can see on the camera. But it's got ridges on the sides and then just a light blue kind of around the edge. It's a pretty good shape. It looks like it has a small like chip in the paint, not the piece, like in the back. But otherwise, really good condition. It was $3, and we're selling it for $16.95. Um, next up, we've got this sugar dish. It is country French ironstone made in Japan. Got a cute little floral. I like the little... Um, acorn looking top and the two handles is $13.95 for this sugar dish. Okay, next up we have a nativity. This one we actually, it does have the box, but the box is pretty hammered, but we will send it with it um, because it fits perfectly in there. And it's got all the little pieces and this I found at the bin. I'm really surprised because I thought at the bin it would probably be all broken or missing pieces, but it's complete. So we've got the three wise men, a donkey, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And a cute little sheepy. And it's kind of a country finish. I wouldn't paint it. I love it as is. I might consider painting possibly the crush, but I think it's cute the way that it is. All right. You still fixing that? Yeah. I'm just, I, I went to go wipe off the excess and it's stuck to the paper towel. So now I got to get that off. It's fine. I'm, I'm winning. 
All right, these were $5 each, and they were not even in collectibles. They've got a weighted bottom, so they're nice and heavy. They're not going to just fall over. And they are silver plated. They I couldn't find a maker's mark on them, but they're they're pretty good quality. They're not like your cheap chintzy silver plate. And we're selling for $79.95 for the set. And they're beautiful. I think if you polished them up, they look really great. But I also like the tarnish that's on them. I used to never polish things, and now sometimes I give them like a half a polish. I have a bunch of copper that I polished up for Christmas. Those are one of my favorite finds of the probably the month so far. No, these are really good. Like if I didn't already have a set of beautiful silver uh, candelabras, I would definitely get these and keep them because I, I don't have a ton of candlesticks in my house, but what I do have are like really good quality. I have two um, candelabra sets that are really pretty that I picked up. And then I have a couple of copper candlesticks that I picked up in Paris and they're like my favorite. I love them. Okay. These are really pretty glass. These are pressed glass. There's a set. I very seldom find a set where they're not broken. I'm going to go up close because I want to show you the base on these. I just don't think because they're glass that you could see them um, on the picture, but do you guys see the detail on that base? And I love the detail in the middle. Let's see if I can get it to, there we go. And I was lucky to find a set. They were $2 each and we're selling for $39.95 for the pair. So lots of pretties. These are the kind of things that you like put out. Your kids love them. You pass them down. They're like heirloom quality items. I was actually talking to my daughter Odelia the other day. I have that oil painting that we picked up when we were in England. And I was like, who's going to fight over this? She's like, um, I'm taking the oil painting. She's <laughs> like, it's not even a fight. I'm the, she literally dropped the, I'm the oldest daughter. I get first pick. <laughs> so she probably got her name on it. I'm not even like 50 years old yet. And my kids are already fighting for stuff. So you, every now and then you just got to get some good pieces. So that way your kids have something to fight over after you're gone. All right. Next up. I'm just making sure these don't have, there's a couple of little like broken berries here and there. But... That's that way when you go to the store. Remember when you were buying the garlands at the yeah. store brand new? It just happens. That's I'm just trying to pick off like the ones that are really bad. There's a couple that are obviously like broken. So Zeb broken. picked up all these little mini wreaths. They were a dollar each and we're selling for $6.95. Um, I know Christmas is coming to an end, but these are so cute with a pink ribbon on them for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is the very next season that we'll set up a display for in the shop. It's like pre-spring. Valentine's Day is pre-spring. <laughs> um, Vicky says, I think we have a set of those candelabras. Yeah, if you do, good on you because they are so cute and pretty. So I just wanted to shout out, we got some happy mail from Jeff and Robin Thurston at Secret City Woodworks. They sent us a little ornament, wood Where ornament. I have this on the tree. Oh, it's already um, on the tree. And it Ramona, said like our, um, it had our zip code on it. And Ramona was watching Jamie fight with like the uh, the meat with the spatula, and she sent us like a a pamper. It's like the pamper chef meat. Yeah. Uh, it's a plastic meat. So thank you. Thing. Thank you, know, you for the happy. What's it called? Like a spatula, but it has like. Anyways, it's awesome. So I appreciate that. We will be using that in our taco meat. All right. Next up, this looks kind of like carnival glass, but it's not. It's like it's newer than it's that. It's newer, it's wavy. I paid $3.99 and we're selling for they tried real hard, but it doesn't have like the dark purpley blues that Carnival Glass has. And I knew that it was painted on. You can kind of see it's a little scratched or whatever. It's not the same it's as still the fun. Carnival, but it's pretty it's honestly. $3 we're back to candles. I would just put a big old like oh, pillar absolutely. candlestick right there in the middle, let that thing burn. Or it'd be really pretty for like a pressed glass bowl mm -hmm. and just use this as a base and then put like candy in it. Yeah. All right, we have these. Are we painting these? I don't know. Oh, they, they look were... like Fostoria. I will have to look up. Um, they're not crystal. They're definitely glass. So if Fostoria is crystal, these are not that. So these are these were $3 each, varying heights. They're $49.95 for the set. And they're, they're wrought iron. They've got really good. Uh, this, this design over here on the side is great. Does this top come off? Oh, it does. So we can even like I don't know why flatten those up. Yeah, I don't know why that they made those spin off. Probably for I think ease I'm of manufacturing. Sore throat. Oh, great! That's fantastic. <laughs> or I'm talking uh, just in time for you to go to primary tomorrow. <laughs> Give it to um, all the kids. If I'm not feeling well, I will stay home. All right. Let's see. Uh, are the resold individually? Yes, they are, Caitlin. 
So if I don't have them in there like that, would you make sure to fix those or remind me I will get them fixed. They're sold individually. All right. We got about 10 minutes and about 20, 50, well, 15 ish things to show you. Picked up another easel. This one's adjustable. You can move it up or down. Um, it's going to be 1995. I think it was two or three dollars at Goodwill. Uh, I like the black color. I've got a little work to do with the lemon oil. It's got some residue from the 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 Goodwill sticker here, but brass um, turns to to tighten it, and you can collapse this down if you want to store it or or put it in a closet. But like to put art on here. Fat. This is a little oversized for it, but it can do work. Are you taking my original oil painting off the wall? Yes, I am. This is my this is my splurge. I think I spent like almost a hundred US. Dollars so on let's it. say you're renting, or you don't want to put a bunch of holes in your wall, or you've got a really fun like side table that needs some art. This is obviously too big for this easel, um, but perfect example of how I would use this. Well, it's perfect for a vignette. So we've been trying to pick these up so that way we can display art in the shop. And then if somebody buys them, great. And then we'll just keep picking up more so we can display art. But yeah, that one's 1995. I actually have a really big one that didn't make the, the, the show tonight that might, it's maple that's adjustable from, uh, looks like about three feet up to about five and a half feet. Oh, you need more stuff? <laughs> All right, next up, I actually need to fix the picture because it's like this in the listing. This is how this goes. It was $1.50, it's cast iron, and it's going to be $19.95, and we're not going to paint it because I think the color is really good. It's like a great turquoisey patina color. Now tell them about that. I picked this up because I it's, it's for a pillar candle, and it had one in it that was like purple with butterflies or something on it. I'm not in love with the rhinestones. I do like the plated base. I don't, it, it might be like a tin. It's not even it silver. silver. I just like the size of it. It it's needs so a serious dirty. scrub. It needs a serious, serious scrubbing. It's probably been up on the top of some shelf in a kitchen. It's got a ton of kitchen fur and random things down in here. It will get washed. And Zeb's taking the rhinestones And I'm going to, I'm going to heat gun these rhinestones right on off of here because they got to go. And then I think it would be amazing. Uh, it's going to be twenty eight ninety five after I give it okay. some elbow grease. It's got, once it gets the Zeb treatment, yeah. I, I told him like that's fine, you can buy it, but I'm not cleaning the kitchen for all. She almost did because she was going to take a picture, and she almost couldn't take a yeah, picture of it dirty. It and then she's is. like, "I'm just doing it." Did someone buy the hooks? Um, I don't think so. Caitlin just dropped the link. All right, these are six ninety five each, I believe. Yes, they, they were two dollars a piece at the thrift store. And just a great kind of twall print on these bowls. We have seven of them. Um, Karina wants to know if the purple coat fit my daughter. Yes, uh, it fit Odelia, and I've lost some weight, and I can wear it too. So, all right. The one from England? Leslie says the stuff on the top is called, yes, the one from England, is called Diamond Wrap and should come off easily. Yeah, it's actually glued on there really well. It's not like someone hot glued it at home. Is from the factory, but I'm going to just get the heat gun and find where it starts and we'll just, we'll get it off. Somebody said, don't, uh, oh, Leslie just picked that up. Okay. You don't celebrate Mardi Gras on February 13th. No, I don't. I mean, all I know about Mardi Gras is where you're supposed to be super naughty before you get ready for Lent and repent. Is that right? You throw beads. There's a lot of, Deb and I are not party animals. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something different about Mardi Gras, but. I don't know enough about it to celebrate <laughs> it. We'll say that. We celebrate Valentine's Day. Yes. And by that, I mean, we usually have, like, we actually, we usually just make a big dinner with the kids at home because going out to eat on Valentine's Day, it's too busy here. So we found another bunny. It was a dollar and we're selling it for $11.95. We can never find the bases for these. This is the second one we found, but they're great just sitting on a shelf or or uh, in on your coffee table, whatever you want to do for it. They're awesome little Easter decor, super cute little bunny. So how do you clean white film off of old glass? So this isn't really white film. It's just like dirty. Um, I would use Barkeep's lemon, friend. Lemon oil. Lemon oil is really good. Um, uh, citric acid. Yeah. Citric acid will clean it up too. It comes in a powder form. All right. It's like a little relish dish or dip dish whatever you want to use it for it so was this four dollars unique because um the silver i think the silver part's like made in france and it's got a sticker if you take the glass out oh yes 
Uh, whoa. We're good. Was it the silver or the glass that's made in France? There was a sticker. Anyways, it doesn't really matter where it's made. Um, it's the glass. Very often, you do not find, you find the glass divided dish or you find the silver piece on the bottom, but not both of them. So it was cool to find the like cover for it, like not cover, but like handle piece. And it's, it's got silver. the feet. And the cut glass is really pretty. This pretty. The set is forty two ninety five for both. Is that cut? Uh, pressed. Pressed. Press That's glass. pressed. Sorry, right, I don't want to leave people astray. Okay, she, she says she's tried everything except citric acid. Yep, you can. We have citric acid because we use it to make cheese. But I know a lot of people use it to get the um, the filmy stuff off the glass. So six hanger coat rack. I will tell you right now, we've we've ordered these and used to carry them in They're the shop. They're big though. They're bigger than the ones I used to get. These hooks are like six or seven dollars a piece. So I would have bought it for that alone. Um, did we get this from the bins? There's no. Oh, here it is. Di four dollars. Um, for the whole thing it's already got the routed wood and i'm gonna repaint six it hooks. but i i don't want to paint the hooks oh good they're screws. yeah they're so screws. we're gonna unscrew them all and then we'll probably when we rescrew them put a little doll of a glue in there to make it a little better and i'm just gonna repaint this um yellow here it's gonna be 49.95 sort of and bring back a little of the yellow but yeah it's really pretty it's big how, it's, how long would you say it's like um it's close to four, feet, four feet. yeah it's close to four it was originally from Down East, which is a great local like home decor slash clothing company here in Utah. They're, they're branching out. They might be other places too. Leslie Johnson said, I just bought that. Did you buy that one or the, oh, she, she sure did. Good job. <laughs> She's getting all the good stuff. That one's really good for organizing. Um, did we talk about this little tray? Nope, that's just a little vanity tray for like a bathroom. It was... $3. $3 and it's got like an embossed detail around the edge and it's going to be $14.95 as is. I'm not painting it because it's made for a bathroom in which stuff that's like painted and waxed in a bathroom with like a lot of humidity might not hold up as well. And it's nice and heavy. It is resin, but it's heavy. All right. I loved this little picture. I liked how thick the glass was on the bottom. I liked the blown handle and it's it's like got like this greenish blue tint it doesn't have a maker's mark or anything there's a little bit of seating in the glass it was two dollars at the di it's going to be 19.95 it also needs to be cleaned up yeah it's probably about a liter or a quart it's a good juice glass or a gravy boat aluminum colander yeah vintage kind it's, of it's probably i would say it's from the 50s just judging yeah, the way very these feet like, are uh space looking like you know when they did like a lot of things that kind of look like outer space? That's what it looks like to me. I love the circle pattern with the holes. It's just a really good vintage aluminum colander. It's $21.95. And how much do we pay for that? Like a buck or two? Uh, 75 cents. 75 cents. That's like the cheapest thing we bought. That is such a good deal. I Usually I pay like two bucks. Um, I never pass one of up an egg cooker. So my understanding is that a lot of people that do keto – will bake their eggs in this so that way they can use them for sandwiches because then you get like the perfectly circular round eggs. I thought it might have been like a stoneware bra, but it's not. Um, I've learned otherwise. It was $3 and I'm selling for $19.95. I think this is the second one we have in stock right now, so I probably won't buy any more until these sell. But we do sell probably three or four of them a year. Pampered Chef Stoneware sells very well for us. All right, okay. we got four more things, five more things. And, and two minutes to show them. Okay, next up, this one I bought for my friend Jasmine. She was doing an online sale, and it, I paid $20 with shipping for it. It is made of wood, and it's got, like, these doors that open, individual drawers. And I love to paint these up kind of how you would a big piece of furniture, just all the care and attention you would give a big piece of furniture just in a smaller package. And it's going to be $69.95. Yeah. I love the feet. We're, I love the drawers. It's going to be a really pretty joy box. We're probably going to go in a French country direction because it kind of has that style. It's almost, it's not quite French provincial on the feet, but it can, we can make it pass as such. So I was thinking it'd be really cute. I want to just paint it and then kind of copper up the handles because they're attached. You can't really take them off. But then wouldn't it be cute to either do like a stencil or a um, transfer on the inside of the doors? Oh, yeah. And they've got like a really fun liner in here. It's cute. Okay, so those are just on with little nails. All right. Well, if you can figure out how to take them off. I think I can do it. 
All right. We'll so figure these, it out. It may not look very big, but these are a lot of detail. They take a long time to paint, but when they're done, they're super cute. So excited about that. So I'm excited about this. This silver pitcher um, was originally, it's got three stickers on it. We've been watching it for weeks under the collectibles. Let me see if I can peel off the original price on this. It's a good it's EPNS, which is electro-plated nickel silver. It's got a couple dings, lots of wear on the handle. It's been used hard, but I really like the hammered look to it. Okay, here it is. It was originally 20. I can read it from the back. Then they made it 15, and we got it for five. Thursdays, the... Um, di in sorry i'm already i've told you i feel like i'm coming down with a cold what's that what's the city riverton is mm -hmm. their markdown days and we happen to go there like on a friday so after the markdown days or no it's thursday morning i think it's thursday morning yep so we we caught it we usually only thrift on mondays but i'm like and it's a good big Thursdays. picture i would wager it's close to half gallon yeah it's a good size okay next up we have this canning jar i think i paid like 50 cents for it because that's how much canning jars are at our thrift stores and it's a dre perfect mason it's all wavy glass and thick, and it's $9.95 for that. And then next up, Zeb bought another platter. Or actually, maybe I did. It, you got that one. I have to take the heat gun to it because somebody hot glued paper clips. Probably hanging on the wall. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm going to take those off. It's the International Silver Company. It was $2.50, and I'm going to sell it for $14.95. I like the punched edge on that one. Show them your So this your is clock. this clock is made out of resin and it ha does have a repair which I always test and see how sturdy it is. This is going to need a little bit of texture to really make it work. I just really love the shape on this clock. It's kind of like a little candlestick and almost like a like an old clock you might find like on a street somewhere like in the middle of the town center or something. Oh yeah. Um, but it's small, a great shelf sitter clock, and it's it was four dollars. Uh, it's going to be twenty two ninety five. Once it gets painted, it just, yeah, it's I'm going to texture it up, paint it. You won't ever know it's broken. It's a super sturdy repair, so nothing happened in there. I like you're yanking on it. I hope so. I always test it before I ship that out. You know, if it's got any kind of break, I make sure it's good to go. It's going to be like tested. new. So this is another uh, Hobby Lobby find. It needs a new paint job. Well, we got it at the thrift store, but it's from Hobby Lobby yeah, originally. But it's it's got like the the machine weird... distress. Can you guys see it? Can you see the pattern on the machine distress? It's like a cheetah. The sides actually don't look too bad, like these sides and the top. I don't hate that. But it's we're not gonna... like so terrible that it's offensive to me, but a little bit. It's not offensive. It'll be fifty nine ninety five once we give it a new paint job. All right, I. That's it. Does the clock work? Yes, the clock does work. I think it needs new batteries, but yeah. we'll check it before we send it out. We always put batteries in our clocks. We don't ship them with them. I ship them it. working. I cannot guarantee that they won't get jostled and banged because there's like a lot of intricate little moving parts in yeah. here. But we try really hard to ship them appropriately. Occasionally we do have them not arrive working, but it's pretty rare. Um, and that's, that's like... Uh, uh, the risk of, of purchasing the clock. It's going to leave our place working. Hopefully it's still working when it gets to you after shipping. All right. Is that everything? Disclaimer. Do we get everything off the floor over there? Uh, yeah, we show showed that. it all. You showed all the Afghans and yep. quilted stuff. Yeah. All We're right, good. Guys. We're done. Okay. Thanks for joining us. We will be live again next Saturday. We've got some edited videos coming out. Don't miss out on that gift card sale. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that share button, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye, you guys.